the acarid and endogenous glycocalyx forms a bidirectional don't eat and don't eat me barrier to phagocytosis. Hello, I'm Paul Ember. Today I will briefly present our work published in Current Biology. Macrophages continuously survey their environment in search of pathogens or apoptotic corpse or debris in order to eliminate by phagocytosis or by efferocytosis. Target intended for clearance exposed ligands that initiate their phagocytosis, called hit me signal, while other avoid phagocytosis by displaying inhibitory ligands called don't hit me signals. In addition, a reciprocal barrier of self synthesized or acquired glycoclase component on the macrophage's surface envelop phagocytic receptors, curtailing their ability to engage particles. The coating layers of macrophages and their targets hinder phagocytosis by both steric and electrostatic means, and their removal by enzymatic means is shown to markedly enhance phagocytic efficiency. And in particular, we show that removal of mucins, which are overexpressed in cancer cells, facilitates their clearance. To finish, this result shed light on the physical bias that modulate phagocytosis, which has been heretofore underappreciated. In this work published in Current Biology, we have shown first that high molecular weight forms of luaranic acid in synovial fluid obstruct particle binding. Then, the glycocalyx contributes to the negative surface potential of macrophages, plus macrophages have a charge selectivity to target binding. And the last point, bulky transformer mucin of tumors override antibody blockage of CD47 CIRP alpha. I hope this short video abstract will push you to read this article. And to finish this video, I would like to thank all the scientists that contribute to this work. Merci beaucoup, muchas gracias, thank you for your attention.